Welcome back, this is Johnny Walker with Red Zero Gaming, and today we're going to do a little uh, free-for-all on Afghan. Um, I'm going to be using my typical run-and-gun class, which is the MP5K Silenced, the USP45 with Tack Knife. I'm using a uh, throwing knife and uh, flashbangs, and I'm also, for perks, using uh, Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, and Ninja Pro. I feel that in uh, free-for-all matches that mobility is a very... Uh, handy thing to have. I found it helps me get around the map, helps me uh, find people a lot quicker than I could if I was say camping or um, you know just kinda taking it back, camp and move, camp and move. Um, this method works a lot better especially on bigger maps because it really does uh, cut the distance on your opponents by quite a bit. and allows you to uh, really sneak up behind them and uh, get there quickly. Now as far as if you've uh, watched any of my other free-for-all videos, um, you'll see me kind of pause every now and then. Um, what I'm doing is I'm listening for footsteps. I run with uh, surround sound headphones, so uh, I can hear the people coming from all around me. And it's really, really handy to have, almost uh, necessary in uh, you know free-for-all or say a game of search and destroy, where uh, being able to hear your opponent really gives you the, the advantage over everyone else. Um, I've found that on regular team deathmatch the headphones aren't as good because there's just too much explosions and uh, too much you know air support over your head I mean really you really can't hear what's going on most of the time so in team deathmatch is definitely not necessary but in free-for-all and uh, search and destroy I'd definitely say it's uh, something you should put on your Christmas list let's say but uh, we're gonna run around and just kind of continue killing people. I go uh, 30 and 9 in this match. So, uh, How can you slice through a riot field? Just kind of sneak around here and just continue to listen for footsteps. I mean, it's not really anything too uh, difficult to do. Well, Once you uh, get it down and get kind of get the hang of it, um, it's not really hard to come out with a lot of kills and, uh, you know, a few deaths. But, uh, Main thing is, guys, knowing your map. You have to know your map, where your opponents are going to be, where people like to hide. Um, typical things like that. That will you'll find that that will be your your greatest tool against the enemy is knowing the map. So that's definitely something you should uh, you know just kind of take mental notes of when you're playing basically any game. I mean, as far as camp spots go, uh, most people are going to use the same spots in any kind of. Uh, um, any game mode, I mean really, they're all pretty universal. Um, as you see, I kind of fail a few times here on that knife. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened there, but got our pave low, we're going to go ahead and call it in. And, uh, I died just in time to reset my kill streaks. Not intentional, but we're going to go uh, just keep uh, searching around and see if it wasn't that's the importance of a, a silencer right there. I would have ran right by that guy and I, I didn't see him. And I would have ran right by him if I didn't see his red dot come up on the map. Uh, that's why we need to go over the importance of the silencers and free for all. It's, I can't tell you how big of an advantage a silencer is over an unsilenced weapon. It keeps your red dot off the map and keeps the enemies from coming towards you. Because you're the one supposed to be uh, sneaking up behind everyone. You really can't do that if you got a big ass marker on your head, so use a silencer. It really doesn't affect your weapon that much. Um, it's uh, definitely the advantages are greater than what you lose with it. You know, walk out and attempt a throwing knife fail here. But uh I don't know guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of the run and gun class on free for all. I know some people like to camp and can do fairly well at it. But I definitely feel that this lets me get out and uh, get a lot more kills. I've tried camping on a few of them with like an assault rifle or you know trying to do a little bit of camp and move or kind of move slowly around the outside of the match. And this doesn't work well. You get people that spawn too close behind you and uh, all around you. It's just not. I just couldn't really find it feasible, especially on bigger maps. When you see there, um, when you get hit, especially with like a shorter range class, um, 
you know you're in a battle you're gonna lose back there when I got uh, the guy was shooting a noob tube into that uh, bunker I decided it was time to get out of there and go find uh, go find greener grass on the other side um, I felt that that would, I probably could have got him if I stuck around but uh, I was gonna go ahead and get out clear out of there he obviously knew I was there I was gonna go find something else to kill See here, I'm just kind of empty in this clip. I end up getting him and getting knifed from behind. That's always fun, but I guess uh, just kind of keep moving through. But I can't tell you guys the importance of just being mobile and being aware of your surroundings. Um, that's going to save your life more than anything. But uh, I don't know how I didn't get that knife there, but he actually got me the, the the magnum. So good shot on his part. That poor shield guy. I don't I don't know what he's doing there. Free for all of the Arias shield. Man, Commando has been kicking my ass all day. Uh, I like to run with ninjas, so the people with Commando can outrange me a little bit when it comes down to the melee. But, uh, I don't know, it goes either way. I prefer being able uh, to be a little bit more sneaky than I would the, uh, the extra, you know, five, six yards you get out of your, uh, your commando lunge, I guess you'd say. But as far as uh, that goes, I mean, it's just kind of down to personal preference. Really, um, play with what you're most comfortable with. Um, you don't really have to you know, change up or you don't have to play any certain way to uh, to do well. I mean, you can use any perk combination, weapon combination, and do well if you play tactically smart. Um, you just got to be, play to your class. If you're running, you know, if you don't, if you have an SMG, don't be trying to shoot people across the map with it. And if you, uh, you know, run around with a sniper rifle, don't be trying to do a lot of close quarter things. But uh, go 30 and 10. Uh, this is Johnny Walker with Red Zero Gaming, and I'd like to thank you all for watching.